hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our pos system in php so guys in previous video we have done with the category crud and now in this video we are going to start with the product crud okay so guys now let's get started so let's move to our editor okay and let me close all the files arrange it so now guys let's go inside the admin folder and create a products.php file so products.php file hit enter and now guys let's import all the basic things and as we see we have in the categories page so click on categories so here you see this structure right so same thing we are going to copy and paste so now guys let's copy the categories.php file so let's copy all the code and paste here and now guys let's change from the top so first step we are going to tell it's a products and here it's going to be the products create.php and the button name it's going to be add product here in the card body we have a message to show and then here our code starts where you can loop the data of the products and display in a html table format so now guys let's tell that in this get all function that our table name it's going to be products so this is my table name products and let's change the variable from categories to products okay change it everywhere so guys here is a condition like if its product has some issue when it returns false then you can just show something went wrong and stop the code if it is correct then it will continue to check how many products are there if it is greater than zero then you are going to show all the products detail if it's not then you are going to show no record found okay so guys now let us update this uh, HTML table. So first step guys here. I'm going to add that one extra column image name status and action And now you can get below here at this for each loop change the variable to products So which we have created now here. Okay, same variable products and its item And now guys copy and paste again and this is going to be our image part so just add image here and let's add this in a image tag let me break it down so it will be more clear one step back and then concatenate and add a style attribute here and tell like width colon 50 px height colon 50 px okay and if you want you can add a alt part here img and here we are going to change to products let's copy and paste for this products also okay and now guys let us see the output for this let's get back so we don't have a products uh, navigation in our sidebar let's add that products navigation guys let's move back to our editor go to includes folder sidebar.php and let me remove this pages option completely and now what we'll do we'll copy this complete category and paste again and change the categories to products and here create product view products and also the href products and here and now guys let us uh, target to the correct id so here we have written that is collapse category right let me control d d d so three items selected here and instead of collapse category let's tell collapse product okay that's it now i save it and let's get back refresh so here you find your products perfect so now guys let's click on view products so now guys let's create a table inside our pos database so guys now let us click on this new to add a new table so here products and let's begin with the id integer 11 digit value and select the index as primary and also the auto increment part so it automatically adds the id next category id so we are going to store the category id integer and 11 we can accept here then the product name which is going to tell as name and varchar and length is 255 description medium text here you don't have to give the length and guys more three columns let's add extra three columns here which is going to be the price where integer of 
11 then quantity integer 11 image which is going to be var care of 255 more two columns guys that is your status and created at so let's add the status here which is going to be tiny integer like true or false length one and as defined zero let me add a simple comment here zero equal to visible one equal to hidden okay now you can move back and add a created at date okay only date and then you can select the current timestamp here that's it guys and now let us click to save perfect so we have created the table guys for the product and now let's refresh here you see that it's no record found okay so actually we don't have any record in our products table perfect so now guys let us get started with creating the products create page get back to our editor let me close this sidebar yep now create a file products create dot php and now guys let's create the form so we are going to not create the form instead we'll copy from the categories page okay on this create category we have a form right so we are going to copy this complete form and utilize in our create form to save the time so now guys move back here is our create category let's copy close and control a paste the code that's it and now guys let's edit from the top so instead of add category let's tell add product and this is going to be a back button which is redirected to products.php and now guys here inside the card body this is an alert message to show any success message and here our form starts and ends okay so first step guys let me add one column md12 for the category list let me add a margin bottom three let's get started with the label which is going to be category id like select category and use a select box and give a class form select the bootstrap class and then option so here your values are going to be okay so select category as simple and now guys let us loop all the categories so open php close php dollar categories equal to get all function where you'll tell categories okay copy and use a if condition if category is true show else you can echo like let me copy this option tag and paste here and tell something went wrong done and now guys if the category is true then you are going to loop all the categories let's copy this paste here and tell here no categories found okay and let's copy this variable guys and check with the mysqli number of rows if this categories has more than zero data then use a for each loop and loop the variable guys i mean this category variable okay as dollar cat item not items cat item and then you can use echo and show in the tag so let's copy and paste this here and you need to just concatenate it so dollar category let's give single quotes dot dot and then category item of name let's copy this complete single quotes to the name and paste here and you can just add id okay so it will get the category id and category underscore id so you have the category id and then let's move below so this is going to be a product name let me add a here product name then product description then again product price so let's copy and paste here price let's remove this price and then with the quantity and change the name attribute so it's going to be price 
here quantity and paste here which is going to be image here and this input type will be a file and tell the name attribute image and let's remove the required option modify this column so which is going to be this four again four and four then and now guys let's update this button name so instead of save category let's tell save product and now guys let's see the output for this get back refresh awesome so you can select any of it and add the product name description price quantity and image and click to save so now guys let's get back if you are using an input type file then you have to add a enc type form data inside your form tag so let's add that enc type multi-part form data okay and once this form is submitted you go to code.php so let me just copy the button name here let's copy and get back to the code.php file so go to your code.php and now let's write the code guys for saving the products detail so first step use a if condition and use a is set function using the method post you are going to check the button is clicked or not save product button okay and get all the input field names so guys let me just copy from above like i just don't want to type again the same codes so let me copy this and paste here for the save product okay so now guys whatever the remaining fields are there we are going to copy that yep let me copy the category id then name description price quantity and image let's get back so first step category id category id name description and then price Control d add a price again copy and paste where we are going to tell quantity and then and now let's do the image part here so let's use a if condition to check whether the image is there or not okay so first guys uh, dollar underscore files of image and check its size is greater than zero then you will tell yes image is available and now guys let's create a path equal to inside double quotes just go one step back then move to assets folder forward slash uploads folder inside that uploads folder you can create a products folder and inside that you are going to push your image okay so what we'll do let's get here so now guys let us create one folder named assets inside that assets will create one folder uploads okay inside that uploads create a folder called products so products inside that products you are going to fill all the upload images done so now guys let us continue with the image upload part so first we are going to get the image extension with the help of path info function where you will tell dollar underscore files of image of name okay give comma and get the path info extension info extension and now let's create the file name equal to add a time function and just concatenate with the dot with the image extension done so your file name is ready and now guys you need to upload your image so with the help of move upload file function you are going to push the image so dollar underscore files of image temp underscore name okay and now you need to give the path here so this will be your uploaded file or image and where you want to upload that you have to upload to your path so let's tell that path what will be the file name so give forward slash and dollar file name okay so this is my file name at this path you are going to upload and one more thing guys if you are adding a forward slash here then don't add a forward slash here okay just remove from this main path so it will tell that we are adding it here okay so then guys uh, we need to get a final image that is going to be the exact path so for that 
we have already this path so what we'll do we'll copy this paste assets upload then your products forward slash and then concatenate and get the file named so if there is nothing just give this final image equal to null so all set guys and now let us add the things like here is your category id let's copy this variable paste here and then your database table column field name okay products column let me show you so here we have this column fields let me copy that and paste here so we can check here okay category then your name paste it then description paste it let me copy and paste so this will be your price quantity then image and finally the status guys okay so we have got all the details and now let's update these variables so price then quantity let's update this price and quantity then final image so we have created here if you upload the image then it will get the image path if you don't have image then it is going to tell null value okay and then finally the status part perfect guys so we have given the correct input details and now let's insert the data using this insert function so what is my table name it's products let's move and update here products and whatever result you get you just push that and if result is true go to the products.php file and tell product created successfully if something goes wrong let's tell that get back to products create.php and mention something went wrong done guys and now let us save and let us try to upload i mean add some product let's get back okay refresh so here i am going to add a device first which is going to be a red mi note 8 okay so note 8 product in blue color okay now give a price like 14,000 INR and quantity I have 20 piece right now I'm going to not upload any image let's click to save perfect product created successfully and here you find that the product okay so let me just see in the database cool guys and here image is null right so if you want to upload the image let me try with the second so I'm going to and insert another device Lenovo laptop okay let me copy Lenovo laptop product in black color 84,000 I have 30 quantity and let's upload the Lenovo laptop image I have one image let's open that and let's try to save perfect guys so here you see that we got the image saved okay now you can get back to the database see the correct path so here you find that we have a correct path guys everything is set okay so now guys we have successfully uh, fetched the data and inserted the data of products so guys this video is already extended now let's continue next video about edit and delete the product and also while editing the product we are going to delete this image and update new image so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share